Hey Thumpers, welcome back to another trailer reaction here at Hyper RPG. Today we're going to be doing something quite exciting, quite terrifying. It's the trailer reaction to the Red Band brand new trailer for Alien Covenant. Oh. I'm Adam Lavick. Oh. I'm joined here by Cameron Rice. Cameron Rice, I'm so excited. <laughs> Are you scared? I'm a little scared. Oh man, I love the Alien movies. So they, good. They frighten me, except for <laughs> Alien Resurrection. You are terrible. <laughs> um, you're nearly uh, watchable. Um, <laughs> But yeah, no, I'm very excited. I am in the minority of uh, outspoken voices that really love Prometheus. I admit it has some problems, but god damn, I love that movie. It is a beautiful film. There's a woman who has an octopus aborted out of her body. That's dope. <laughs> dope. Um, uh, yeah, and this uh, brings back Michael Fassbender. Yep. Uh, Ridley Scott returns, same cinematographer as the last Prometheus. And even people who didn't like Prometheus all have said, it's a beautiful film. Yeah, same cinematographer, I think, who did all the Pirates movies as well, right? Yes, uh, whose name is, it's right here, Darius D Wolski. Mm -hmm. Wolski, maybe? Wolski, if he, perhaps. If he's, if he's German, I'm not <laughs> sure. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited about that. Uh, the, the big difference is, and people might even say this uh, down in the comments, is this one by, uh, by Damien Lindelof? No, no, no. <laughs> not so much. No, no, no. No, this one, uh, this one's screenplay by John Logan and Dante Harper. Uh, John Logan of Gladiator, Skyfall, and Spectre fame. And if you're a TV fan, he also did Penny Dreadful, which is a fantastic show. I highly recommend Penny Dreadful. Uh, story by uh, our boy Michael Green. Michael Green, we those just of you talked about. Just worked talked on about Logan. Him. Worked and he's on doing Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Oh man, so he is knee deep in Ridley Scott world. Yeah, yeah. Right it's now. interesting because I was looking at the at the writers. So for the story, you have one experience, one not so experience. And for the screenplay, it's kind of the same thing. You have one experience, one not so experience. So yes, correct. it's interesting to kind of see to kind of spice up that dynamic of like let's have two people collaborate who maybe one is like very well versed and one who's not so well versed. And I think that probably could add something to the movie. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, so I'm very excited about this uh, cast. Uh, we have, again, the returning Michael Fassbender, mm -hmm. Catherine Waterston, Billy Crudup, Danny McBride, Damian Bashir, and James Franco. Did you see uh, that video that came out maybe about uh, two or three weeks ago? It was like um, a scene from the film. It was like no. four or five minutes. I had James Franco in it. I'm, I'm trying to do my best to not watch much of this movie because it's one of those most anticipated for, of the year for me right yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like I i'll stick with the trailers and then after that i'm kind of done how do you feel let me ask you how do you feel about the alien and uh, alien series and prometheus uh prometheus is one of those movies that i started and i couldn't really get into but i i'm gonna make a point to go rewatch it right before i go watch alien covenant because i feel like mm -hmm. it deserves a, a second viewing Alien is a masterpiece of movie. It's incredible. Aliens by James Cameron, obviously incredible. Three and four are kind of murky for me. I don't remember them as well. I would love to go back and marathon the whole thing. Yeah, I highly recommend for people to check out the assembly cut of Alien 3. That mm -hmm. is the cut that David Fincher did before he was uh, booted out of the editing room. Uh, and it's better. It's not. It doesn't suddenly become a masterpiece, but I, I, there's things I like about Alien 3. Alien 3, the Alien series is a fascinating series. I think we should probably... We're, we're, we, you know, we're trying to do more watch alongs here. I'm thinking maybe leading up to this movie, which comes out uh, <laughs> in May. You, yeah. you, you said you were going to be quiet over there, Hector Navarro. <laughs> um, this movie comes out in May. We might do a couple alien watch alongs, not counting Alien versus Predator. <laughs> you, yeah, all of them. Let me tell you something right now about Hector Navarro. Hector Navarro thinks apparently he's an immortal. He's the Highlander. He's going to just decapitate people and live forever because he watches so much shit during marathons. <laughs> Movies that everyone admits are garbage and even he's like, oh, they're terrible, but I'm having a marathon. <laughs> I don't think Hector has Asperger's, but that's the one part of his brain that's like a computer. He's got to finish the coding and watch the bad movies too. It's uh, okay, I'll kind of uh, wa I'll watch them the too. Uh, <laughs> In terms of this trailer though, uh, when we went to go see Logan, I closed my eyes and I put my head down because I didn't want to see <laughs> yeah. anything. So I'm I'm really excited to see kind of what happens in this. So, sh shall we? Whew, let's dive in. All right. Let's watch the trailer for Alien Covenant. Red, Red Band, Band Red trailer Band. two. Give me that blood. You've all sacrificed so much to be here and be a part of this thing we're doing. Looks beautiful. This crew is made up of couples. It's the first ever large scale colonization mission. And everyone back on Earth is really grateful for your hard work and your courage. We're making history here. This is wheat. 
What are the odds of finding human vegetation this far from Earth? Who planted it? Never a good sign when you find good things on an alien planet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you hear that? What? Nothing. No birds. No animals. Nothing. Oh, what a dream. Yeah. What a dream world for me. Shot in New Zealand. Oh, really? Ooh. I was talking about there not being no people or oh, animals. I'd be like, oh, I could sleep in. No neighbors aren't going to be loud playing music. I don't have to go to work. <laughs> Who'd you make videos for? What happened here? Camera. So terrifying. <laughs> Curiosity killed the crud up. <laughs> that big, big blue dick is dead. What's happening? I need you to kill it. I need you to kill it. Okay, baby, just calm down, sweetheart. Calm down. Tell me to calm down. You're breaking up. Oh. All of this is to start our new life. That blood. Where is it? There's your F bomb. Oh. Woo! Hold Holy sh! Oh, oh man! Ow. So good! Ow. Just all the spit! <laughs> Oh, it's so, uh, good. so great, so great, man! I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I, I think with the Alien movies and the Predator movies, I think one thing that they that they kind of got away from was kind of showing you how terrifying these characters could really be. I agree, and how you can really use different types of technologies to bring these characters alive. Whereas the practical CG, seeing that that alien zigzagging through the tunnel where it was all red. You know it's CG, but man, it looks so well done. Well, we've had a little time since even even the last Alien vs. Predator movie where we saw yeah. a proper alien. It's been... What? 12 years? I don't think it's been that late. Alien, I think, AVP, AVP, Requiem? I think AVP came out in 20, 2004, I think. Yes. And Requiem was about two, three years later, I think. So uh, it's it's real bad. It's yeah. really, really bad. Uh, it is shot so dark. And yeah. I know these movies tend to be dark. This is a kind of dark where you turn the brightness up on your TV and you still can't tell what's going on. <laughs> Good use of a budget. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, but this this excites me. I, I like seeing a Xenomorph out in the daytime. That was interesting. Um, so that's definitely uh, that's definitely kind of cool. Here's the thing: the thing the CG CGI helps with today with CGI too. You got to be you got to be careful. You can't use it too much, otherwise right. things look like shit. Um, but the fact of the matter is, Ridley Scott shot the original Alien in such a way. To not show the full alien because mm. at the end of the day, it was a guy in a rubber suit. Right, right. Um, and James Cameron shot a little more dead on. I love aliens, but it kind of has a guy in a rubber suit feel to it a little bit because they wanted to have the crawling and the full bodies. Yeah. Uh, you get to Alien 3 where they're using a rod puppet and the uh, matting effects are not the best. Um, <laughs> but they're getting there. They're getting there. That's 1993. Right. We're now in 2017. And you can do some cool stuff with aliens that they don't look like guys in suits no more. Absolutely. Um, so that's very exciting. It's a gorgeous looking movie, as we said. Uh, I love Michael Fassbender, and I'm very excited because uh, the trailer doesn't reveal it, but uh, so this takes place 50 years after Prometheus. Um, Michael Fassbender's last character in the last film, David, was an android. Androids live a little longer than 50 years unless they uh, get killed by an alien. <laughs> um, Oops. And so word on the street is that there's going to be two Michael Fassbenders in this film. Mm -hmm. We're going to have David from Prometheus which um, there's a lot of talk of the one shot in the trailer where there's a guy in the shadows holding up a gun. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think that's David. Uh, and then we're going to get this this other android, 50 years more advanced, that Michael Fassbender is also playing, that comes on the Covenant ship. And I believe his name is Walter. I believe so. I believe so, yeah. So Walter and David, you're going to go at it. Um, yeah. And uh, spoilers, I guess, to some extent, but it kind of did get out there that Naomi Rapace, uh, who played Shaw in Prometheus, will be coming back in some capacity interesting that was the dog tags that were found uh in the trailer uh it's 50 years later so in what manner she was found why are there alien eggs is there a queen somewhere these are the questions uh we will find out but i'm very excited 
Yeah, I'm super excited. I, I'm glad to see Ridley Scott go back to this. I, you know, I think Ridley Scott has been a little bit up and down the last the last few years. Uh, the Martian to me was really a beautiful example of what Ridley Martian. Scott can yep. do. The Martian is an incredible film. So I'm really, really excited to see him go back to this, something that he started, you know, almost 40 years ago. And to see 70, what he can, 79, yep. Yeah, to see what, what he can do with it. You know, how can you, how can you kind of refresh it a little bit and maybe bring it back to its roots and make it feel more like Alien and Aliens and a little less of kind of this throwaway, throwaway sci-fi property. Yes. So I think that's what I'm really looking forward to. And seeing how they kind of bridge not only Prometheus to Alien, but this movie. And potentially, I think he was saying there's going to be two or three additional sequels. So Slash Film did a, a series of interviews, on-set interviews with Ridley Scott, the cinematographer, producers, all these people. And one of the things that was talked about was that some... One of the things that frustrated people about Prometheus was that the movie left you with questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't mind that, but a lot of people did. And they said they recognized that. So they're going to answer some of these questions in this movie. But they also said they're going to leave you with questions right. as well right. that will be answered in a part three mm -hmm. um, of uh, whatever this Alien Prometheus mixing series is going to be. But sure. um, yeah, I'm, I'm really stoked. Yeah, Ridley Scott to me is one of my favorite directors. He's been working for almost 40 years. And he, like any director who's worked 40 years, he kind of has an up-down, up-down quality mm -hmm. to him. But yeah. Martian, uh, I really enjoyed The Counselor. The Counselor felt like Ridley Scott's take on something like Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia, which is a uh, Sam Peckinpah film, which is crazy and violent. Um, again, I like Prometheus. I actually enjoyed his Robin Hood movie. I know a lot of people did not. I didn't see it. I got to watch it. Uh, his director's cut of Kingdom of Heaven, I think, is a masterpiece. That is a good movie. Uh, pretty much the only film, I, uh, to me, honestly, in the last 10 years, that didn't work was uh, Exodus, Gods, and Kings, mm -hmm. which... Gorgeous looking movie, really Scott, same cinematographer, um, and they went for it. It's lavish. It feels like a big Hollywood epic, but uh, casting issues aside, which are worth bringing up, that that was a very white movie. Um, it also had like a weird, like uh, Christian Bale's uh, Moses kind of disappears for the second half, yeah. for a long chunk of the movie. Hmm. So it kind of, it feels like you're going with this character and then he kind of disappears to go through the plagues. Yeah. Felt like Ridley Scott just kind of wanted to make a movie about the seven plagues <laughs> and was like, I guess I got to get this Moses guy in here. <laughs> um, but if you go want to find a clip of the seven plague scenes from Exodus, cool looking, <laughs> crocodiles eat the fuck out of a bunch of uh, Egyptians. Um, so you can go check that out. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm very excited for this. A killer cast. Catherine Watterson, I think, is an actress who... Um, is really up and coming in a big bad way. She did. Uh, she's got this last year, uh, the, just this year. Them. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Fantastic Beasts: Where to Find Them. Steve Jobs. She uh, came out in a big bad way in Paul Thomas Anderson's um, Inherent Vice. That was like her big. Who's this actress? Kind of a thing. Yeah. Uh, so she's making a name for herself. I'm. I'm super stoked. I'm yeah. way stoked. Yeah, amazing cast. Super great crew behind this movie. I can't wait to see it. May ride with May, a gun. May's almost here. May's almost here. So. If we marathon it, we'll let you guys know, and maybe we can do a nice, a big hyper RPG marathon of all the alien movies. Uh, Hector will watch Alien vs. Predator by himself while we go get <laughs> food. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, make sure you guys subscribe right here, youtube.com slash hyper RPG. We're going to bring a lot more trailer reactions, film reviews, and all kinds of stuff. So much more to look forward to. And uh, make sure you also check out all the programming that we're doing on Twitch, twitch.tv slash hyper RPG. There's like 70 hours worth of programming. So many shows. Hector and I do a show on there called Cineverse where we talk about all the latest movie news, trailer reactions, all kinds of stuff. Cameron, thanks so much for being here. Thank you Working so much for having me. You. you can find me online at twitter.com slash and I'm usually dropping a lot of info there. I'm in uh, sketch groups, comedy shows, talking about movies, talking about comics, talking about professional wrestling, which I do here on Saturdays. Uh, you can check that out. And Mondays, me and Hector have a show called Indomitable where we play Hero Clicks. With a bunch of cool, crazy cats. Go check that out. And then I'm just under Adam Havoc on all social media. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below what you're looking forward to the most in Alien Covenant. And how you feel about all the other Alien movies and where you hope the series goes forward. We'll see you guys in the next reaction. Have a good one. Bye.